we are going to talk about the top rooting challenge. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm recording this for training purposes. So right now we're just going to go over how what tap rooting means to me. And tap root, I don't know if you know what this means. I did not know what this means. It's basically when you're like, you know, when you have the tree, the, the root that goes down the deepest till it finds the water. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the runner and the worker on our teams, the water that's going to grow our teams, um, and how to find those people and how to help people grow. Okay, so I'm going to now share my screen. Share screen. Okay, so I'm going to show you, um, and, and Julie, this is going to look super familiar to you because you are the one that helped me create this. Um, so I'm just using our onboarding system, but I'm using the last page, and I can't remember if this is part of our, if this is what we used or if I added this later, so you could let me know. Um, okay, so I'm just looking for my team page. And if you want these documents, I'll be happy to share them. Um, I think you already have it, though. All right, so my team page, and I'm just going to my files. So whenever I'm showing a team member, this is what I'm showing them. Um, I am just showing them where to find it. So that's why I share my screen. So I'm looking here, okay, and I'm going to my files, and then I'm going to new ambassador getting started. This is just our regular onboarding system. And I have found when I'm doing this tap rooting, um, what, what it is, I just go to the very last page. And I don't know, Julie, if you have this page. Do you have this page on our thing? Like this is what we created. Um, do you have no, this? I don't have the and study past page. Okay, so what I found is, this is, this can, unless you're someone like you and me, who are a go-getter, and we don't even need anyone to hold our hand. This is perfect. But what I found is most people are not that. <laughs> so what I do is if somebody tells me they want to work the business, um, then I will show them this page. If somebody tells me, if someone's like, I, they're just a wholesaler, not, I shouldn't say it that way. They're not wanting to work the business. They're just basically wanting to do the, um, you know, the products. Then I will say this to them, but I will not show them this. I will just... In my brain, I'm going through the steps with them as far as they'll let me take them, but I am not, um, but they don't see this page, if that makes sense. I just ask them. So for an example, I'll say, um, what are you hoping for, okay? And so let's say that, um, okay, this is perfect actually. Julie, let's say you're on my team and Marilyn is your brand new person. So Marilyn, are you, will you role play with me? I don't know if you're able to hear me. Or Julie, I guess you can. I don't know where Marilyn went. I can. Okay, so let's, okay, let's switch that. Marilyn's my level one, okay? So here's what I would have done with Marilyn. Say Marilyn's on my team already, okay? She's, and, I, and she's been stuck. So if, if Marilyn's on my team and she's told me I want to work, I will ask her um, bluntly. I will say, do you want to... Um, you know, are you ready to get your business started again and really work with me? If she says yes, then she's ready. If she's like, well, I don't know how much times, if she makes any kind of excuse or shows anywhere she's not ready, she's not ready and that's okay. I'm going to work with someone else. But the ones that I've said, and I have an actual an exact question, my phone's charging in the other room, unfortunately, but I have a question that I bluntly will say, and actually... Well, I won't, I, I sent it to Melanie, who's on here. But it's basically, are you ready to do this? If she says yes, that's awesome. So let's say Marilyn said yes, and I said, okay, bring me somebody, basically, okay? So you are the person that she brought me to. You just joined, you're brand new, okay? You're, you're just a brand new person on her team. So I will say, what are you hoping for? So what are you hoping for? I really just want to get my products paid for. Okay, so why, why are you taking the products? Why did you join? Like, what are you hoping to improve? Uh, I want to lose some weight. I want to sleep better. Um, I have some gut health issues, anxiety. Okay, so what I would do, obviously empathize with you. I'd be like, okay, um, that's awesome. So here's what I would say. Now, again, you might not be seeing this, but I'll say, 
what if we share this on Facebook? Let's see what happens. And I'm literally just going to take the exact words and I typically write it down. I actually have my notebook here. And as you're talking to me, most people kind of spill their heart when I say, what are you hoping for? Especially when they're brand new and they just say, you know, whatever. So here's an example. I would just say something really like, um, I say, what if we share this on Facebook? I just use their words and I help them come up with a non salesy post. I'm excited to get started with these plant-based supplements. It's helped my friend with her sugar cravings, hopefully some energy to chase these littles around. You know, but you said, you know, you can, you can say I'm excited to help um, get started with these plant-based supplements. I don't even say plexus because I want to create curiosity. And I would say, you know, I've, I've been studying about gut health lately, and I really think that's the key to losing weight, you know? Something like that, you know, because you just said losing weight and you said gut health. Something just very general. And typically, if you use these words, what if we share on Facebook? Let's see what happens. Um, when we share, they almost everyone tells me, sure. Like, almost everybody. If they say no, no problem. I don't pressure them. I don't have, I don't want to stress about pressuring anyone. But I am going to ask everyone whether I think they're going to or not. So what I've been doing is on my team, Everybody that we've added, everyone, I will tell them my people. So Marilyn, if Marilyn just added Julie, I would say, Marilyn, awesome. I'm so happy you added Julie. Let's get her on our welcome call. Because here's the mistake I make. When we made this Julie, like what, in January? <laughs> um, I had it out there and I was like, people, let's go. Here's her thing. Nobody used it. But when I, like the, probably in September, I was like, you know what? We're using it, and let, and I would try to use it, but when I would reach out to Marilyn and I would be like, congratulations, let's make sure Julie knows how to take her product, and let's get her on a Zoom so that we can help her get started right, and so she knows this is what we're doing, okay? So now you're on a Zoom with me. You just joined, and all I ask you is what are you hoping for, okay? And I listen to you, of course, you know, and I, I always say, okay, make sure, you know, you have that. I just use Brooke Hemingway's how to get started right, you know, whatever. And then I will always ask you as a brand new person, what if we share this on Facebook? Let's see what happens. I don't care what you've told me. I don't care if you want to sell or not. I just ask you that. Now, if you're like, no, I'm not ready, that's fine. But typically when I put it in a way like this, almost so far, everybody has told me yes, everyone. So awesome. Um, if they say no, no worries, you know, how can we help you? And then I just know that's not somebody I'm going to be working with right now, you know? So here's what I do. So once you, then I will bluntly say to you, sorry, I'm, I'm talking too much, but if I said, okay, Julie, um, you, does that sound like something or say, what if we share it on Facebook? Let's, let's see what happens. Does that sound like something that you could do? Yes or no? Uh, sure. I guess so. Okay. When do you think that you can write that by? When do you think you'll post that? Uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Okay. So as soon as you do, let me know because and make sure we, we're friends on Facebook. I'm going to send you a friend request because what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment for you. And so I want it, I need to know when you're going to do this so that I can comment and that way it'll help boost your post and support you. But also I want to see who comments so I can help you with the next step. And again, depending on where they are, if you're brand new and you don't want to do the business, that is literally all I say. I don't do anything else right now. If you're wanting to do the business and you want to know the process, I'm going to show you the process right now. What I do is almost always I will put you and Marilyn in a group chat so that we can talk and Marilyn can be trained. And you're, as soon as you comment, as soon as you send this, I'm going to be like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. It helps me. Um, this is what's helped me to not have migraines anymore or something like that. I know compliant, but whatever. So I'll, I'll share something, you know, some kind of something, but what I'll do is, and this is where it gets exciting. It's just, this has been so fun. Um, so you'll, you'll do that. And seriously, people are going to say, what is it? What are you doing? I'm happy for you. You know, someone's going to ask you what it is. Um, that's just what happens to it. You know, if they don't, they don't, but a lot of times they do. And so I'll be like, oh, Julie, okay, look, Amber commented. Here's what I want you to say, say to her. Um, you know, and I'll say, thank you, Amber, for commenting. Or, or if someone, if Amber was like, hey, what is it? Okay, because that's typically what happens. They'll say, what is it? 
this is a, an example of what you would say. And I'll have you in a group chat, so I'll tell you what to say. And I'll just say, you know, great, let me tell you why I joined. I was hoping to lose some weight, blah, blah, blah. Just reiterate what you already told me. And then I'll say, do not explain. Well, here's what you say. I have a two minute video that explains our products. Um, if I sent, would you watch it? Or I typically say, um, would you like me to send it to you? That's all I say. So I give them the words to say, and I'll tell them, you know, they're not robots. I'll be like, you know, if this is your friend, have a conversation, but the key is not to over explain it. You are not answering any questions about the product right now. You can talk to them, ask them about their life, tell them why you did it, you know, build that rapport, but you are not explaining the products. You're saying, I have a two minute video. Can I, would you like me to send it? So when they say that, Almost everyone, it's crazy. Almost everybody says yes. And then this right here, you can either send the triplex, ah, or you may sorry, not realize that it, was but not what I wanted to do. Um, send the triplex, or ah, hold on, I lost it, or the um, microbiome one that just came up. What is this? Nope, not that one. Um, okay. So I'm just basically, I mean, these steps to me are, are just written out for them, but it depends on where they are. Like I said, if they're wholesale and they, they don't know, I, I just walk them through the process without telling them. I don't tell them I'm selling. I don't tell them anything. But then I'll say, you know, send them this video. They send it. And I'll say, follow up with her in a few minutes. Ask what she, or, and what I've said is I like Brooke's wording. Here's the, here's the thing that's literally changed my life this thing you guys see this yet this is from brooke i'll say this what stood out to you so i'm literally just following her chart from here like this is what i'm doing what stood out to you um or could you relate to anything you know let her let her answer you now again if they are brand new i'll say what i say is, if i'm in that group chat with them I'll just say, um, you know, let her tell you. She tells you, and then I would say, listen, I'm just learning. Do you mind if I add my friend Amy to the conversation? Typically, when I say it that way, people say yes. If they don't, that's okay. And when they add me to the conversation, this is where I've gotten stuck because this is where I felt like I'm failing people because I don't know what to do once they add me to a group chat. But I basically just kind of do this, same thing. Awesome. What are you hoping to, even though they've already kind of answered that, I'll say, you know, I'll say, what are you hoping to improve? They've already watched the video and I'll just say, does it sound like something you want to try? This is like a magic sentence here that I just, for some reason, have never been brave enough to ask. And it just depends, you know? Um, yesterday, the person didn't, they didn't want to, they, even though I was, and it's okay. I didn't feel like a failure because I followed the steps, you know? But what I found is most people are saying yes. And even when I say, do you have time for a 10 minute call? I say that too. And a lot of times they'll, one girl, she's like, oh, I'm laying down right now with the babies. Um, but yes, I definitely want to do this. Um, just, can you send me the instructions? No problem. You know what I mean? Like I follow their lead, but I do say this and then I will just act like customer service and take their stuff over the phone for them. Um, I'll say one last thing and then I'll answer questions because I know I'm rambling on. Um, one thing that has, here we go. Um, okay, let me rephrase, let me go back. So when they put me in a group chat, let's say I've gotten them a customer or an ambassador, depending. Even if they're wholesale, they are so excited that they just got a customer or an ambassador. And I'm like, oh my goodness, look, now you've just like helped toward covering your products, that's awesome. Then if they've done this and we've been successful, depending again where they are, then I'll go over here to step two and I'll say, who do you know that could use the products? Who do you know that has fibromyalgia? Who do you know that has this, that, and the other? And again, depending on where they are, um, I'll say, can you give me like five names of somebody that you know that has these issues? They'll send it to me. And then I'll say, what if, and these are like the key words. What if we send them a simple message? Let's see what happens. And then I'll be like, hey, Melanie, thought of you today. You know, just send this simple message. And again, if, they're, if this isn't their personality, you know, I tell them, be you. If you want to send a voice message, that's fine. But you don't want to, the key is not to give in too much information. Or just say, um, the key is this. 
Are you open to learning more? I thought about you today. I thought it might be something you'd love. Are you open to learning more? That's the best way to ask it. Um, okay, and if they say yes, then we just move down to step three and just literally repeat the same thing. So that is the process. So what happens is, oh, what I've been doing, okay, so just to kind of start out, hi, Melanie, because Melanie just jumped in. Um, so what I've been doing and what has really made a difference this past month, month and a half, is so let's say Marilyn is my level one and Marilyn's been on my team for like a year and she, and I've said on my team page, who wants to go silver? And she says me, or who want, who feels stuck? She says me, I would reach out to her or if I just want to reach out to her. So it just depends. And I would say, you know, I've started a new training process. Um, are you ready to commit and really work the business? I forget the wording I use, but it's something like that. I have the real wording in my phone. If again, if Marilyn says yes, she's ready. If she says anything other than a solid yes, she's not ready. So I've had, let's say six or seven people say yes. And I'll say to Marilyn, okay, the easiest way for me to train you is if you have anyone on your team that you can bring to me. Okay. And then say she brought Julie. Okay. We walk through this. I just got Julie, Melanie, Melanie just joined Julie because we just walked through this whole process and now Melanie's on board. Now Marilyn's not quite ready to train anyone. Julie, you have no idea what you're doing yet, so you're not ready to train anyone. This is where I'm still, I'm going to be reached. I'm the one who helped you sign Melanie. I'm still gonna do this with Melanie again, but I'm going to include you. Like, I'm, it's not gonna be just me and Melanie working together. It's gonna be you got all of us, all of us on a Zoom. Now if Melanie feels weird, then it's just going to be me, Julie, and Melanie, <laughs> like just the person above her, depending on, you know, who they are. Um, but I usually have already have her in a group chat, and I'm just going to say, now Melanie just joined, I'm literally going to be like, hey, <laughs> what are you hoping for? Bum, bum, bum. What if we said this? I'm just doing the exact same thing. Now after, so what's happened is, after a time or two, especially with your leaders, Marilyn's got it. Like, so where, where I personally have made a mistake I have a really strong senior Ruby who's phenomenal. We went through it with her leaders, but then her leaders kept coming to me. Meanwhile, her name's Julie too. Julie knows what she's doing. So instead of me having to train Lee and her team and Katie and her team, I've told Lee and Katie, Julie's got this. If she's not available, it's okay. You can come to me, but I want, can I, I explain to them like, Lee, you don't want your team coming to me. You want them to see you as your leader. Julie's your leader go to her and I'm here. So once I feel like Julie had it, then I'm, I've left myself out and now I'm going to work with someone else. Does that make sense? But so what I'm personally doing is the people that have joined my team this month, I am going to their sponsor and I'm saying, all right, Melanie, awesome job. You added Julie. Um, let's get her on. Um, let's make sure she knows how to do her products and she's trained right. Are you, here's unavailable this time, this, like I am being very proactive with making sure these new people, but I'm not just going to Julie without Melanie. You know what I mean? Because that's where I've made a mistake before. I'm training Melanie, whether she wants to be trained or not, <laughs> because it's her, it's her obligation. And you know what I mean? But let's say she's like, leave me alone. I'm not doing this. Fine. I'll work with Julie. Like it doesn't matter, but I'm always going to try to include them. Anyway, that is my. Does that make sense? I know I've rambled on, but that's the gist. Pretty easy. I like it. Thank you. Yeah, I found when we made the first two parts that our team wasn't using it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because a lot of those two pages, like you said, are meant for people that are like really ready to do the business. And mm -hmm. we know a lot of people start in this not really intending to do the business or even thinking that way. So I really like that your third page kind of mm -hmm. gets them introduced to that. Yeah. Um, will you send me that third page, mm -hmm. please, in a Facebook message? Yeah. And also Brooke's roadmap to recruiting, yeah. whatever that was. I know I have that somewhere, but Lord knows where that is. So. Yeah, I will definitely send it to you. Um, and yeah, I need to edit my thing because even though I love our thing that we made, this last page, it's literally the only thing I've been using. Okay, so... Yeah, the maybe. launching strong are you referring to julie is that what you're hi julie by the way hi. <laughs> i don't know if we've met but anyway hi 
Thank you. Um, yeah, so are you talking about the Launching Strong document? or no. so she's talking about this. Oh, okay, got it, okay. So, Melanie, Julie and I created this. Oh, y'all created it together, okay, got yeah. it. She is the mastermind behind how gorgeous this looks, by the way. It's cool. very pretty. She and came up with all the content. <laughs> so, yeah. we, we worked on this, and I think, I thought it was great, but I found nobody was using it. And yeah. The, the Launching Strong one, yeah. I know so many people love it, but it just, it wasn't doing it for me. I don't know why, but yeah. this right here, there, I created this from a voice message that Brooke Hemingway sent me. <laughs> like, I was just like, what are you doing? And this right here, she sent me a voice message of what she says. And I literally just listened a hundred times and typed out her words. This same thing. I just listened to Brooke Hemingway and I typed out her words. She just really good with verbiage, but it were, I mean, obviously what she's saying is working. Yeah. And so my goal is to do what the, what the company is doing too. And then the steps basically come from Bob. I mean, it's, yeah. And this also comes from Brooke, you know? Yeah. So I usually say, are you looking for weight loss, wellness, or energy? And then I say, are you on any medications? Just so you know, whenever I'm in chats. And then I go straight into like, if I sent you a two minute video, would you be open to watching it? Yes. Okay. Here's the video. Okay. Yes. Any other questions? Nope. Okay. Let's get you signed up kind of thing. I mean, yeah, just be, but what are you hoping for? It gets them talking. But, um, sometimes I've found people not telling me like, I don't know, I feel like crap, you know, <laughs> but if I've been able to specifically say weight loss, wellness, energy kind of helps me to know where they're at. And then I ask medications because people don't always tell you what the heck they're on or what's wrong with them. And I don't want to put them on something like accelerator if they've got blood pressure issues or, you know what I'm saying? So I've typically always ask them about meds.